Hello world, Paleo Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We're going to talk about uh, something relatively uh, exciting today. We all know your computer probably runs slow. That's why you're here. You're going to learn how to speed it up. It's not that difficult, and I'm going to try to make this as quick as humanly possible. Okay, today we're going to talk about modifying your startup. Uh, when you go to uh, Windows Startup, essentially what you have is, is you have a few... Hang on a second, I have a spider on my computer. I have no idea how that got in there. It's a little creepy. Essentially, it's it's a very easy thing to do. Uh, you have a number of startup programs which are down here in your taskbar. See all that junk down there? Now, some of that stuff's essential. Um, this what we're going to talk about is if you see some junk down there that you don't think you need, um, we're we're going to need to remove that for when you start up Windows. Essentially, changing your Windows startup will allow your computer to start up faster. Hence, changing the startup. A lot of times it'll also let your computer run faster while uh, less programs are running in the background when you're doing other things. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to go to the start menu and then you click run. And then Windows, uh, Bill Gates and his genius stores these uh, random uh, programs in the start menu that let you uh, do all these secret things that Windows doesn't want the regular user to know about. But we'll go ahead and trust you. you got to type in M S C O N. F I G M S config and go ahead and click OK or press enter however you want to do it. That is going to bring up what's called the system configuration utility. Now we're not really interested in all this other stuff and I strongly recommend you do not change anything in the general system INI, win INI, boot INI, services or tools startup. Right now we're just going to talk about the startup option. Um, now see all these check boxes these are all things that are currently set up on my computer to start up when I reboot the computer. Now some of these are absolutely essential and some of them are relatively uh, confusing. You know, you're, you're not entirely sure which ones you want to run and which ones you don't. So w what you need to do is you need to, see, like, look, here's a blank one. What the heck? I'm assuming I don't need to start blank on startup, but you know how computers are. Um, but best thing to do is Google these. See, because you have all these startup items here uh, like run DLL is important, but look, it looks like it's a Bluetooth authentication agent. Well, I don't really use my Bluetooth device, so I don't need to run that. IGFX tray, I think it's a graphics card thing. This one's common, common HK command. Not sure what it does, but it's important. IGFX helpers, job his initialization, initialization, and MPL setup. I know those are uh, CTF mons. Another one. Those are all r relatively common amongst most Windows XP machines. So you're going to want to leave those running because there are things that do start up that, you know, Windows needs to start up in the background. You could technically disable all these and it wouldn't destroy your computer. Um, odds are I like to keep things running that Windows recommends. So let's let's go ahead and try a point. OK, let's let's go ahead and pull up uh, Google Chrome because I'm a geek and I don't use standard Internet Explorer. Nothing wrong with Internet Explorer other than security issues, but I'm a geek, so I like to use different things. Oh, I'm not on my internet. I guess we're getting a quick lesson in connecting to wireless internet here today. Let me go ahead and get this all set up. Wireless. View wireless networks. In case you didn't know, you just look at whatever you have here. Look, it's my house. Okay, connect to it, enter your password, connect. Wait, 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 and wait, wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Go get a soda. Take a break. How are things? Hope they're doing well. Okay, well, while that does that, I'm going to go back to system configuration. Uh, we basically have... Uh, 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 like here's Rock's watch tray. I know this is Roxio, so that's my CD creator. Don't need that. Start on startup. Demon tools. I have that startup on because I, I use that to mount certain images. Now on my laptop, I don't really need that to start on startup. So whatever you don't start on startup, you can always start it manually. So basically, what you're doing is you're you're telling the computer, hey, I don't need this crap to run in the background while I'm doing other things. Let's see if I got on my internet yet. So that's pretty much all you're doing. Um, my wireless, you know, even geeks, we we have the same problems you guys have. We just won't admit to them 90% of the time. 
we're too busy uh, trying to fix them. Consumes 90% of our lives. Our wives love that, by the way. Let's try this again. A lot of your computer issues can also be fixed on boot up. There we go. Okay, now, on a reboot, I mean. Okay, now, we're on the internet, so let's go ahead and pull up Google and let's look up that A point. There's A point. Let's go to my Google Chrome. It's embarrassing how slow my computer runs. I'm supposed to tell people how to make them faster. Okay, um, this is my laptop, so it's not my desk. <laughs> it goes a lot slower than my desktop. Uh, basically, we want to look up A point, and let's see what we got here. It's A point.exe. See, this is really what you want. You want the full file name. Look, even Google knew what I was looking for right away. So click it, and usually the top five results are pr are really good. See, because we have what is A point.exe, and I can already see by the description that. A point or A point process info for Alps pointing device driver, which tells me that's a mouse pointing device. It's a mouse driver. So if I click on A point.exe, and a lot of websites will give you this description of what it is. It's a component of a driver for your Alps touchpad. So this is for my touchpad on my laptop. This process should not be removed. Ensure your touchpad works properly. See, that's the perfect example of doing research on your startup. And what will eventually happen is you'll learn. You'll learn which ones you need on startup and which ones you don't. And then from time to time, you'll come back here and make sure that things didn't add it to its startup. Primary culprits. Adobe Reader, for some reason, adds itself to your freaking startup every like two minutes. So make sure you check. Not two minutes. I'm exaggerating a lot. But keep check consistently. Make sure Adobe Reader doesn't add itself. We also have... Um, there's quite a other. Look how many I got. See, I mean, all these are probably running in the background of your computer right now. <laughs> Google update, don't need updates. Anything that updates, you don't need running in the background. If you want to update something, you'll do it manually. Java update, that's notorious for throwing itself on there. And so is uh, QuickTime. QuickTime loves to do that. Any Apple product loves to add itself to your startup, um, which blows my mind because you have to start it, start it up manually just to use the program anyways. So it makes no sense to run it in the background. Okay, and then when you're done, just click apply, click close, and this, this you don't have to restart it right away. This is just basically telling you that when you, rest when you won't see the effects of this until you restart your computer, which makes sense because it's a Windows startup. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to exit without restart for now. I'm going to restart later, and the next time you reboot, your computer should boot up faster. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, I hope this helps some of you out. If you have any questions, just leave comments below uh, on the, either the YouTube video or on my primary website. I'd prefer my primary website, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, stick around, and maybe you'll learn something else. Thanks a lot.